In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how you can integrate Notion with Jira right here. As you can see, I have both accounts open right now and that's what you want to do as well. Make sure you are on the same browser and you're logged into your Notion account and to your Jira account. And what we need to do then, we need to go to Zapier. So Zapier is an integration tool which is very handy. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description down below so you can sign up for an account. You can sign up for a free account just like I have. Um, what we can do here, once you've signed in, you'll be on a page exactly like this. And here we can basically integrate different platforms. So we have to connect an app, let's say Notion, that's what we want to use. And with this one, and that will be Jira. So we can do any of these like Jira Software Cloud, Software Server Service Management. I'll go for the Service Management, that's the account I have as well. And basically what we can set up, when something happens, uh, then do this. So when something happens on Notion, this happens on Jira Service Management. So what we can do here, we can select a new database item, and here we can select Create Request. So if you have more options on your account, then there will be more things right here, and we can hit Try It Right Now. So as you can see, we have to connect the apps, uh, set up these apps and turn on these apps. That's what, we want, that's what we want to do here. So first we need to connect to our Notion account just like that. Uh, as you can see, Zapier wants access to Notion and you have to hit select pages and I'm going to select everything and hit allow access, just like that. And now we can hit next and it's going to, uh, now we can select the trigger so for example with the journal or from the recipes anything here and now it's going to get get the data from notion and now we have to do basically the same thing for gyra as you can see atlassian there we go so as you can see here we have allows appear to access your gyra software cloud account and we have to select i use a gyra software cloud um Please note, I have two new accounts. So this is a new empty Notion account and a new empty Jira account. For you, there will be probably content on it, of course, because you're probably using it and that's why you want to integrate it. And uh, let's do it like this. And here, they want access to your account and we hit accept just like that. And now we have to wait. And this is all set as well. Now we can continue and this is the product project on my account of Jira. And here we can set what, what it has to do. So we can do a task. So we can use advanced mode because we have to use that for this app. It really depends on what you want to integrate um, for because some of them are really easy. Some of them aren't. As you can see, now it looks like this. And here we can choose the app. And of course, it's Jira Software Cloud, as we just um, made. We can hit Setup Trigger, which is the journal, the Test Trigger, which is right here, the database item A, Continue. And what it's going to do, the action event, is create an issue. So you can choose anything right here what you want, because if something happens on Notion, then something is also going to happen on Jira, and that's basically how it works. Continue. And now we have basically set it up, and this is where we can continue with all the information. So let's add a summary. So we can do the first one, component. So basically, if you know how Jira and Notion works, um, if you have a lot of content on there, all the options will show up here, but because I have a new account, it won't be able to show up. So once you filled in everything right here, and add the priorities, the, the reporters, everything, we can continue. And then every time something happens on Notion, then on Jira, this thing is going to happen and it's going to trigger because of Zapier.